Joseph Mehofer is a Polish painter, born on March 19, 1869, in Robskis, Poland, and died on July 8, 1946, sorry, in Wartes, with Poland. Mehofer was a prominent figure in Polish art during the late 19th, early 20th century. Josef Mehofer was born into a family of artists. His fa- father, Antony Mehofer, was an architect, and his mother, Victoria, born Odefer, was a pianist. He began his artistic education at Krakow Academy of Fine Arts in 1887, where he studied under the guidance of of such renowned artists as Jan Medikov and Jacek Marzewski. His early works were strongly influenced by the Symbolist movement and Art Nouveau. Melfer gained recognition for his decorative and symbolic paintings often featuring allegoric and mythological themes. He was part of the Moldo-Polska Young Poland movement, a cultural and artistic movement in Poland at the turn of the 20th century that sought to redefine national identity through art. His artistic talent were not only limited to painting, but he also excelled in stained glass, tapestry design, and book illustrations. His collaborations with renowned Polish architect Stanislaw Wyspiński and other artists played a significant role in shaping the visual language of the time. One of Mehomfer's most Notable contributions was the field of stained glass. His design adorned numerous churches in Poland, including the renowned St. Mary's Basilica in Krakow. His stained glass works are celebrated for their intricate patterns, rich colors, and spiritual symbolism. Melfer's works were featured in various exhibitions both in Poland and internationally. He received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to art and culture. His reputation extended beyond Poland and he became a well-respected figure in the European art scene. In the interwar period, Mehofer continued to produce art, but his style evolved. He embraced more classical and traditional elements while still maintaining his distinctive artistic voice. Unfortunately, the outbreak of World War II disrupted his artistic activities. Josef Mehofer left an indelible mark in Polish art and is remembered as one of the leading figures of the Mildola Polska movement. His works are housed in major museums and collections and his influence continues to be felt in Polish art and decorative arts. 
Yosef Mehofer passed away unfortunately on July 8, 1946 in Wardewis, leaving a, behind a significant body of work that reflects the cultural and artistic spirit of his time. Joseph Melfer, a Polish painter, is important to note that he was a significant figure in Polish art during the late 19th century to early 20th century. Here is a brief summary of his artwork. The symbolism and allegory Merfer's early works were strongly influenced by the Symbolist movement. He often incorporated symbolic and allegoric elements to his paintings, drawings, and inspiration from in mythology, literature, and religious themes. His art conveyed deeper meanings and emotions, inviting viewers to contemplate the symbolic language within his compositions. The Molda Polska Young Poland Movement As a key figure in the Molda Polska movement, Molfer contributed to the broader cultural and artistical transformation place in Poland. His art was characterized by a departure from strict realism to embracing a more imaginative and expressive style that animated to redefine national identity and artistic traditions. Decorative arts and stained glass. Male first contribution to the Decorative arts, particularly stained glass, was significant. His designs were meant for stained glass windows adorned numerous churches, and they were characterized by intricate patterns, vibrant colors, and a harmonious fusion of religions, symbolism, and artistic expression. His mastery of decorative arts and extended to tapestry design as well as book illustration in his capacity for artwork. Collaboration with Stanislaw Wyspanski. Mailfer collaborated with the renowned Polish artist and architect Stanislaw Wyspanski on various projects. Their partnership played a crucial role in shaping the visual language of the Madola Polska movement. Together, they worked on projects that intrigued, intrigued paintings, architecture, and decorative arts creating a holistic and immersive artistic experience. Evolution of Style Over the years, Mehofer's style evolved. While he started with symbolistic and Art Nouveau influences, his later works showed a sh shift towards more classical and traditional elements. This evolution demonstrated his versatility and ability to adapt and change in artistic currents while maintaining a distinctive voice. In cell summary, Joseph Holifer's art is characterized by its symbolism, allegory, and contribution to the 
broader cultural and artistic movement of his time. His work is in stained glass and decorative arts, as well as his collaborations further enrich his legacy as a key figure in Polish art history. Josef Mehlfer's legacy is evident in his lasting impact on Polish art. His contributions to the Molda Polska movement, his mastery of decorative art, and his collaboration with other prominent artists have left enduring marks on the cultural and artistic landscape of Poland. Josef Mehofer, a Polish artist, is a important Polish artist and painter and has exhibited in many museums and other art exhibitions, particularly in Poland, but also in other European countries. Here are just a few of the institutions that have showcased his artwork. The National Museum in Krakow, Poland. The National Museum in Krakow, Poland holds a significant collection of Mehofer's works showcasing his contributions to Polish art. Sukinis Museum, Krakow. The Sukinis Museum, located in the Cloth Hall on the main market square in Krakow, also features artworks from Josef Mehofer. Well, well, Royal Castle, Krakow. Mehofer's works, particularly his stained glass designs, can be found in the Royal Castle, a historic castle located in the heart of Krakow. The Polish museums and galleries. Various museums and galleries throughout Poland exhibit Marimer's paintings, stained glass, and other artistic creations. International exhibitions. While Mehomer may not be as extensively known in international exhibitions, he has been featured in various museums around the world. His works have occasionally been featured in exhibitions outside of Poland, contributing to the broader recognition of his artistic achievements. It is essential to note that specific locations may over time be varied, and the best way to experience Josef Mehrmer's art is by visiting museums and galleries throughout Poland, especially in Krakow, where he spent much of his artistic career.